define relations between elements of a triangle. In a triangle, there are six basic elements, three sides and three angles. Not any three line segments may serve as the sides of a triangle. They do if only if they satisfy the triangle inequality or rather three triangle inequalities. Not any three angles may be the angles of a triangle in including geometry. The three angles of a triangle add up to a straight angle. These requirements impose limitations on the manner in which the relations between the elements are defined. In modern trigonometry, these relations are extended to arbitrary angles. This can be done, for example, by observing the projections of a rotating radius of a circle and a tangent at the end of the radius. In the first grading, it is all about on focusing in quadratic equation, wherein it tells us how to use the quadratic equation by extracting its root, by factoring, by computing the square, and how to add and subtract the roots of a quadratic equation. And then, what are the inequalities of a quadratic equation in its two variables? And lastly, graphing it on a Cartesian plane. When the second grading, it focuses on the two topics. First is the kind of variation like direct, inverse, joint, and, un and compound. The second one is it focuses in the zero negative and national exponents where in this concept it includes the law of exponent, rational exponents, how to form radical form to rational form, simplify radical like how to add and subtract, divide and multiply the radical, and lastly, radical equation. That's all. Thank you. First of all, in third grading, it focuses in code the relative how to, how to use the vertex, angle side, and also the diagonal. In ratio and proportion, we have the theorem for any numbers A and C and any non-zero numbers B and D. The triangle congruent, it is means having the same shape inside. It is donated and basic proportionality theorem and it converts. Right triangle similarity theorem, Pythagorean theorem. Some topics are difficult for me, and the rest are easy. While in the second grading, I've assumed it's easy, just like in first grading, but I was wrong. As the topic become longer and longer, farther I got it. So when my teacher would give us an activity, I could answer. I've encountered some problems, just like I don't want to go to school, because I am afraid that I don't know how to answer the given activity and reprimanded reprimanded by my sister and that's all thank you first of all for me math man is enjoying an exciting subject i have many experience in dealing with it like questioning my teacher to explain for them more because i don't understand it early next is the problem given in activities is very hard that the result I got yesterday uh, 
people, but I will not stop trying to learn. I understand the lesson is so. Someday I will get a perfect school like them. Also, the activity is hard, but it's so exciting in really enjoying and sharing it. I have a counter. Also, public it mad because I don't bring sometimes the dead materials that I will be activity. So sometimes I borrow materials from my classmates and another exciting time for me is the time we will write in your journal that First of all, math night is very awesome and enjoying subject. But most of people or students usually say it is very difficult subject of all. And when they hear the word math, they move 100 steps backwards. But for me, I find it easy if you will know how to enjoy it and work on it. In math nights, I've learned just like treasuring time, how to be confident in reporting in front of the class that is sometimes happen. Writing about you've learned or understand in a given topic on the journal book or portfolio. And most of all, I realized that math is very important to us. I have one experience that I can't forget in an activity, which is the day that we went outside of the room and go to the gym to find an object and measure its angle using the clinometer that I make and this activity is part of our first project in math in last grading that should be presented in a video or in a PowerPoint form. And in Math 9, I also encounter some student problem like paper and materials for the activity, and most of all, long bond paper. While in activities, there are times that they make me crazy because I don't know how to solve it. But of all of this experience, I've encountered is really enjoying. And for me, you, you will not be called a grade 9 student if you cannot encounter like this student problem. That's all. Thank you. Hope you like my experiences in grade 9.